Hopefully I do see new standards um, from from guests. I think they're going to have high expectations. I think they're going to collaborate and share a lot more of what they're seeing. People already can go, you know, out on on uh, social media and find out, you know, how your restaurant was rated in, in a given city um, and, and pick up a lot of details. I think that's only going to get amplified. And I think you're going to you're going to have to see some certification. I want to know when that booth was cleaned. I actually might want to watch you clean it before I sit down in it. I want to see that that either a disposable menu or a menu that was completely wiped down before you hand it to me and you hand it to me in some sanitary way that, you know, I, I know that, that it's, uh, that it's clean. So I think that's, that's part of it. I think we're going to have to be all things to all people. It's going to get even more difficult because for those people who are high risk and they really want low touch, low contact technology is going to enable my purchase. It's going to enable the transaction because I don't want to be around a person. We've got to be that, but we also have to have those kind of engaging people where you're still going to have, human beings who want to be around other human beings and want to engage and socialize. And you're going to have to have an atmosphere that can accommodate that, but potentially accommodate it with a lot of new constraints like physical distancing. And you're going to have to look at your floor plans and your seating arrangements, and you're going to have to make some, some different decisions. But um, yeah, it's all coming together uh, very quickly. And we're trying to digest all of these potential, you know, what if scenarios. And, uh, and that's not easy again. Uh, particularly when you operate in 44 different states and they've all got governments that want to make their own rules for their own state. It's not easy for us to, to plan very far out in advance.